श्रीमद भगवद गीता चैप्टर फोर ज्ञान कर्म संन्यास योग लॉर्ड कृष्ण से दैट ही हु एक्सेप्ट वट एवर इज रिसीव्ड विथ सेटिस्फैक्शन बिकॉज ही डज नॉट डिजायर नॉर गोज आफ्टर वर्ल्ड डिजायर्स द पर्सन हु इज फ्रीड हिमसेल्फ ऑफ एन वी और जेलसी एंड हु ट्रांसेंड्स the effects of pleasure and pain remains calm and composed in success or in failure such a person remains free from attachment even when involved in any kind of work this was shlok 22 he goes on to say the person who has killed all kinds of attachment and is free from affliction of affection he who has conquered his personal ego whose mind is always engaged in wisdom of god for such a person whose actions are directed only towards betterment of humanity all his actions get merged in his efforts for the general good in the yajna devotional service for a good cause where offerings become a form of godliness where the materials used for divine offerings to fire achieve similar status for such a saint the result of his actions to carry the greatness of god some yogic practitioners perform yajna in the form of their worship to gods some others find the fire of heaven a sacrifice an offering no less than the form of almighty and carry out their havan realizing their own self and find the incomparable almighty in the process others perform havan in the form of controlling all their senses and sensory objects this process of control itself becomes sacred fire others practice control in the words that they speak and again this process too is a kind of havan there are still others who are able to control all actions of all their senses and are enlightened by the sacred wisdom they perform havan through all their actions of mind with self control many people carry out yajna with material objects there are others who perform yajna in the form of deep meditation there are still others who perform yajna by virtue of carrying out their own duties in a selfless manner and some more who follow the principles of ahimsa non violence and there are still others who keep fasts and perform yajna in the form of self study there are many others who perform yajna through pranayam interacting with apan vayu and still others who reverse the process some people continuously control intake of food and are able to hold movement of pran through pranayam all these sadaks devotees perform through their yajna kill their own sins thus and are known for their knowledge about yajnas kurukshetra arjun those who experience the nectar of remains of a yajna realize and merge with the only present a mortal almighty and the people who do not engage themselves in any form of yajna cannot be happy in this world if so how can they achieve peace and happiness after death this and many other types of yajna are described in detail in our vedas you must consider these yajnas worthy of performance through the mind senses and body once you understand the core subject of yajna and practice these to the best of your ability you will achieve freedom 
from all ill effects of your actions or will rise above the petty pleasures of your actions arjun as compared to the yajna performed with material objects the one which is carried out with wisdom is far superior besides all kinds of duties end with the achievements of wisdom you should learn this wisdom from those who have acquired it through their continuous efforts you must humbly greet them and serve them with devotion ask them politely the questions that arise in your mind without any disrespect those knowledgeable sages who have realized the almighty will give you suitable advice once you understand their advice you will no longer get into the fits of attachment and emotions and will first see yourself in proper perspective and then realize me the almighty even if you are a sinner of sinners you with the help of the boat incarnated by wisdom will cross the sea of sins all your sins will die out because arjun just as raging fire burns the entire fuel the fire of wisdom burns away all the ill actions and the effect thereof automatically he who continues practice of karma yoga action in devotional service for a long time and is carrying on the performance of these duties without expectation or desire or attachment the one who conquers his own self and has a quest for knowledge and is devoted human being achieves wisdom thereafter he achieves peace in the shape of realization of god sooner or later and the person who is full of suspicion lacks devotion and discretion destroys himself without any doubt there is no place for such a person in this world or the next besides he can never be happy dhanje the person who has dedicated all his actions to the almighty through the procedures of yajna and destroyed all his suspicions none of his actions can ever cause ill effects to his self controlled soul therefore arjun you must kill suspicion of your mind which is born out of ignorance with the sword of wisdom get settled with the performance of your duty and get ready for the battle